morning everyone it is a very dreary monday it is awful outside i think we're actually getting like remainders from a hurricane or something i don't know how long that's still going on is that still today i'm assuming that's still the same thing since that's what it was yesterday anyway it's time to start another spinning for socks video now i already spent a fair amount of time dyeing the wool up because i wanted to be able to tell them apart I can show you what we're at right now. So this time around, we're going to be doing, let me pick it up, Tunis again, but this time spun in the correct sock yarn way. So two plies Z, one ply S, everything plied S. That's my standard for sock yarn now because it does seem to be working pretty well. So Tunis, and the other one is Gulf Coast Native. There's more of this. It's just I can't hold all of it in my hands. So I have about four ounces of each and they are both heritage breeds on the Livestock Conservancy list. They are really interesting breeds and I really like working with both of them. I did buy them both for the Save Them to Shave Them initiative. I haven't really been participating much in the group but I do still read it pretty often. There's a lot of really useful information especially since they had a sock project I think uh, last winter or the winter before, I'm not sure which. And they talked about which breeds would work well for socks. And these were both mentioned. They were mentioned as possibilities, but they might be too soft. So we're gonna find out if they're too soft or not. I will say that for some of the wools that I thought would be too soft, spinning them in that sock yarn method that I mentioned does give it a lot of extra strength, even if it is a very soft yarn. So. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna spin some socks. We're gonna do it the same way we did one of the earlier pairs where the two socks will be not matching. <laughs> so one of them will have Tunis for the toe and heel and one will have Gulf Coast Native for the toe and heel. So basically one sock will be red with blue ac um, purple accents and one will be purple with red accents. And depending on how much yarn we have after that, I might do something interesting for the cuff. I haven't decided yet a few ideas kicking around, but for now, let's get started on spinning.
right, so the socks are done. I just finished them last night, but it was a little too dark at that point to film, so I'm gonna take care of it this morning instead. They took me a little longer to finish than I was hoping, so from the beginning of this video to now was like two weeks of time, but that that's all right. So what I ended up doing, this one has two and a set the toe, two and a set the heel, and then I had a lot of singles left over after making my two yarns, so I kind of it's not really a gradient, but so this is Tunis, this is a mix of Tunis and Gulf Coast Native, and then Gulf Coast Native. And then the other one is the same but in reverse, so Gulf Coast Native, Gulf Coast Native, mix, Tunis. So I'm pretty happy with these. I still have to sew in the ends, but they are, for all intents and purposes, done. I will wear them to work, probably the next day of work I have, but I mean, I would have to wear them to work and then wash them to give that particular estimate. So I'm going to bring them up again the next Spinning for Socks video and tell you how they lasted. I can tell you that the Gulf Coast Native feels like it's going to be really soft and pill, even spinning in the way that I normally do. I can't guarantee that though. Sometimes when the yarns feel like that and then I wear them as socks, they kind of compress and then they don't pill, they just sort of semi-felt. So I might do that, I might not. This particular batch of Tunis spun really, really well. It was really easy to spin. I actually think I like it more than the green batch that I used for the previous pair. So the next spinning for socks video is a very long one. I've already started it, it's gonna be very long, so I apologize, but I bought an entire fleece that is a Tunis cross, and I have gathered up and dyed add-ins for it so I can do a whole bunch of comparisons of different add-ins for nylon free socks. So it's going to be like six pairs of socks, which is great. I'm very much looking forward to it. <laughs> but I am just warning you ahead of time, it's going to be a while before I can finish it. So you can look forward to that, but don't expect it until like November maybe December, because it's, it's a huge project. So I think that's about it. I'm gonna go sew the ends on these and take a ending photo and we'll be all good. Thanks for watching. <laughs>